guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash and Supergirl. So we've got some massive, massive breaking news that we need to talk about in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Obviously, this video isn't good news, so maybe you won't go on to enjoy it. But I think it's going to be an informative video for you guys, and we're going to be theorizing about some stuff and how things are going to go for like the rest of the season and like heading into the next season. I will let you guys know about all of that and theorize about that in today's video with you guys. So yeah, thank you for 100,000 subscribers once again. And obviously this stuff that we're going to be talking about is going to be a disruption to the shows. But we're going to still be making videos, so please don't go anywhere. We're going to still be making theory videos whenever the shows, you know, if they have to take a break or something like that. So we're still going to be around, so, you know, don't worry about that at all. But anyway, so yeah, we've got the official news coming from various sources like TV Line that Supergirl and The Flash and many other CW productions by Warner Brothers have actually halted production on their shows because that means no filming. So The Flash has shut down production, Supergirl has shut down production, and that means as far as the near future is concerned, they're not going to be filming the shows. And Supergirl, I'm pretty sure they wrapped up the whole season, but they were due to start filming in April for the new season for a couple of months, and then Melissa would be giving birth sometime in the summer, and then they would go on a hiatus till November. So I wonder what's going to happen with Supergirl. We'll talk more about that, but first off, let's talk about The Flash. So yeah, The Flash was one of the first TV shows to confirm that, yeah, we are, you know, halting production, you know, filming's not going to continue for a while. Well, pretty much indefinitely until, you know, the situation is more controlled in the world. Obviously, this is mainly due to Vancouver and due to maybe the Canadians having some sort of worry. But this same thing is happening around the world. Productions from Disney have all shut down. Productions like in England, productions in America, obviously Canada, which we're talking about today, have all halted in a lot of places. So this is going to be a massive impact on the show's schedule, because The Flash is still due to film till about, you know, April time, like mid-April, so they still got like a month left of filming. So I think the question has to be posed, is The Flash going to be cut short this season? Are they ever going to return to film the rest of the season or are they just going to have to, you know, postpone the rest of the season? They're going to release all these episodes that they filmed, but then, you know, once we get to that threshold and maybe they aren't able to start filming again, what are they going to do? I think the possibility to end the season, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's just going to be postponed until we finish the season when they get to actually return to filming. Like that could be in the summer, like that could be a long time from now. So I think right now, probably the option they're going to have to deal with, I'm talking about the CW, is do we just like postpone the season? Do we just like go up to the episodes we've got or do we post them like once every two weeks? I think that could be a viable option to keep the hype still alive for The Flash. And yes, you know, we wouldn't be able to get to that finale, you know, very soon. We would, you know, get it say once every two weeks, it would continue. And then, you know, by the time we can return to filming, whenever that is, we don't know as of right now. But whenever that happens, we can continue the season. And yeah, the schedule is probably going to be a bit fucked up definitely for next year. Because they're supposed to film, you know, towards like the end of June, start of July when they normally film. Maybe they have to like film the rest of the season just around that time. And I know they're not that far off because they only have a month left of filming. But like... I guess that month of filming can be condensed and they can cut down the season by like two episodes or something like that but it's still like a big kind of idea that you know what happens if we can't finish the season or if we have to postpone the season after we've aired all these episodes but anyway so just quickly before we get into the Supergirl stuff so this is the quote that Warner Brothers actually sent out in regards to the CW productions and the Warner Brothers television productions so they said this. This is their statement. With the rapidly changing events related to COVID-19 and out of an abundance of caution, Warner Brothers Television Group is halting production on some of our 70 plus series and pilots currently filming or about to begin. There have been no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in any of our productions, but the health and safety of our employees, cast, 
and crews remains our top priority. During this time we will continue to follow the guidance of the centres for disease control as well as local authorities and public health professionals in each city where our productions are based. So that was their statement, obviously that makes a lot of sense and there is, you know, no real reason as to why you would go against this because, you know, it's totally logical that they're shutting down this, I was definitely fearing this and so it just happened to be it happened like all at once because they obviously made like one big mass decision to shut down everything and so you know 70 plus series two of them are super on the flash i guess like all the other dc tv shows that will be filming are going to be halted as well like the new superman show like just batwoman every other show that is currently on and still filming or is planning to film in the near future is going to be delayed and so i would say as of right now obviously this is going to be delayed. I would hazard the guess that maybe they get back to filming sometime in the summer. I mean, that's me being optimistic, but I guess worst come to worst, like we might have a delay on next season. Like what happens if they don't actually do next season till like next year or something like that? That would be insane. So the Flash could be delayed, but also all the other DC TV shows could be delayed. And as of right now, it seems like that could be a possibility. And so let's move on to talk about Supergirl. So yeah, Supergirl, obviously it has a bit of a different schedule right now. They were planning to finish filming like this week. And I believe they actually have finished filming. So their finale. So Supergirl is in a kind of rare opportunity where they have actually like kind of wrapped. But then they were going to like start production in like a month, like mid-April. On their new season so I don't know what's happening with that but that's definitely going to be delayed because they have ceased all operations to do with the show and it's going to be like this for at least the foreseeable future and so basically what they have planned is pretty much gone to like hell and Supergirl compared to the Flash's different circumstances and it makes me a bit more worried because Melissa is currently pregnant and I believe she is due to have her baby sometime around, you know, when they would normally return to film, around June slash early July. She's most likely expecting then. So what I was told prior to obviously Supergirl being put in the situation was that, yeah, Supergirl would be returning to film their new season in April. They were filmed to about like sort of late May and then they would stop production and then they would have a long, long break until November when Melissa would return from having her baby and she would have had her break from you know early June late sort of May till all the way to November and then that's when they would start filming the rest of the season so basically what they plan to do is get about like five six episodes filmed and then Melissa goes on her sort of break due to her pregnancy and due to her having a child and then they would come back and, you know, go into full on normal production and everything would be back to normal. But considering this and considering that, you know, probably around, you know, the time they plan to shoot around April to about like late May, I reckon they're not going to be able to do that at all. And so that will be delayed and they can't just like do that, like say in August or something like that because Melissa will be on break and like I don't know if it would be physically possible to bring her back to film while she is supposed to be sort of nursing her child basically because that would be very unethical to make her do that so it seems like the situation for Supergirl if you know this COVID-19 this coronavirus stuff doesn't go away very 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 soon is that Supergirl is actually going to have to delay their production for like you know the rest of the season which will probably not end up happening if it's going to be delayed for so long till like November or something like that. So what happens if the rest of the season isn't finished? Like that is a high possibility for Supergirl right now. Are they going to postpone it till like when the next season is supposed to come out? And then they film like the last month or so and then they have the finale or something like that just before the premiere of the new season. And then the premiere of the new season starts filming around November time. And then we won't get like the episodes till like at least December or like January. Like what happens if the shows don't come back in October and they come back in January or something like that? That is a high possibility right now and it's very, very, very scary to me. Obviously we won't be going anywhere but like these shows and we don't want them to go anywhere and it seen like this stuff and like how it's all been delayed. It's very scary, honestly. And so, 
yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully, this was informative. It's not very enjoyable, but I thought, you know, I had to address this because it's a massive thing, right? So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.